Alright, in my last video, I did an unboxing for Phoenix Feather, the first Beyblade X Phoenix, besides Stronzer, but we're not going to really count him since he's Plastic Gen Remake. But in today's video, I am unboxing the newest Phoenix, Phoenix Rudder. And this set ends up coming with two other Beyblades. Not a random booster, thank god. And I think this is Gale Wyvern and uh, Sphinx Cowl. Now, let's look at the back here. Now, they change Phoenix from being an attack type to a stamina type. And instead of a 960, we've upgraded to 970. And for this bit, it's Glide. We'll get into the, the specifics of this bit later after I open up this set. Now, Gale Wyvern here. I think he's supposed to be a defense type in this. Yeah, with the uh, spike bit. I'm pretty sure that is. Yeah, S for spike. And his ratchet is 260. That's interesting. I don't have a two-sided ratchet yet. And moving on to Sphinx Cowl. Now... I, I forgot to mention, these two are obviously recolors of bays I do not have yet. Eventually, I will do unboxing for these guys. Probably when they come out for Hasbro, though. <clears throat> but this Sphinx Cowl is a attack type because it comes with gear flats, which comes on Phoenix, Sor Phoenix or Phoenix Wing. And his ratchet is... 180 probably not a good ratchet i have not tried the 160 so i guess that's just gonna be another first time test out for us now we can move on to opening up the box i've already cut the tape here to make this process a little faster for us Oh, it seems like everything's upside down. Okay. Put the box off to the side. Now, let's start with Sphinx Cowl here. Luckily, I still have my scissors here. Here's some instruction stuff we're just going to toss off to the side. I think that actually went right into my garbage. Alright, let's open this guy up. Oh, we already have pieces falling out. Now let's take a look at my first Sphinx cowl. I mean... I'm not a big fan of the coloring in the middle here. Now, here is the 180 ratchet. If I can get the camera to focus. There we go. Now, as you can tell, the one ratchet only has one uh, edge on it. Which kind of makes it a very unbalanced ratchet. Good for attack types. And we've seen gear flat. I'm not a big fan of gear flat. My camera is not working today. There we go. Yeah, it's just a different color. Probably not going to be a good bay at all. The stamina for this would 
probably be trash. And I'm not a, expecting this shape to be good for attack. Uh, let's move on. Pull this back out. You know what? We're going to try things a little different. Cut that. Cut that. Don't want to cut myself. And... Alright. And let's start with the blade itself. It's pretty round. It might actually be a good shape for like a defense or stamina. Which may be why they decided to give it a defense bit here. But this is the worst defense bit. So I'm not expecting good things from it. And I have not heard good things about the burst resistance for the two sided ratchets. But it, I do gotta say I like the color scheme here. Like putting the silver on this uh, on the ratchet looks awesome but it also makes me really wish that they would just make metal around for the ratchets to add weights maybe in the future let's put this bad boy together oh okay so that actually lines up pretty nice and i have a feeling it's going to be the same on both ends yeah it doesn't change but luckily it lines up with uh, the middle. Put that uh, bit in. And that's the Black Gale Wyvern. Put him off to the side. And then we shall get the prize of this video. The star of the show, Phoenix Rudder. Slide all the pieces out. Put all the garbage off the side. And let's start with the blade. And again, we have a painted bay. I love the way these look, but it's going to end up looking like this eventually. Still kind of cool, like keeps most of the paint, but it's definitely not the same. I will have to get a second one of these just for display, and then a third probably eventually later on. For tournaments if this is actually good I haven't really heard too much whether or not it's good or not now to the ratchets it's basically the same as the 960 here they changed up the color put some black in there and Really, it's harder to see the difference than it is for other ratchets. Because the 70 is not that different from the 60. Where the 80s, they, they have this protrusion. So, definitely not easy to spot the difference. My camera does not want to work today. I think you can see it more in like this spot here. Uh, now on to this new bit. The glide bit. And again, my camera just does not want to work today. Made out of two different plastics. 
I do not know the name of plastics so if anybody actually knows the name of the plastic in the middle here please leave in the comments but basically this is a little bit smoother it will have less friction on the stadium which will most likely give it a little bit more spin time now something I've noticed there's a little bit of a lump there hopefully that doesn't make it bouncy if I do like a tilt launch or something but to be honest I don't really try and tilt launch when it comes to stamina let's put it all together though always try and put those on backwards now there's not really a good way to line this up I guess uh, that's the best I can do the numbers don't match up nine and like six but there's the bay in all of its glory Phoenix rudder Oh, and I forgot to mention that this is a part of the unique line, where this is a part of the basic line. There's UX and BX. This is UX. There's second generation or uh, within the first season. Now, there's a few other bays uh, like this that... I'll eventually get to making videos on and maybe I'll be able to explain a little bit more in depth about the difference between UX and BX but for now let's get on to test launches all right the first one we're gonna try out is the first one we open Sphinx Cowl <laughs> All right, just a quick test launch. I mean, that's pretty crazy. But the stamina will obviously be horrible. And do you know what? I am sorry about my hand and my blisters work can be rough all right now let's test Gail Wyvern the black defense Gail Wyvern I feel like that won't be too bad of a Defense bay, not gonna lie. It could be improved. Hey, that still had quite a bit of power. But it does what a defense type does. Now, Phoenix Rudder. He should just stay fairly tamed. <laughs> Yeah, I think those were the most tamed X dashes I've ever seen. And then he'll just stay there for a really long time, and we're not going to test how long that is. Because I just want to move on to battles. First battle, we're actually going to face these two against each other. Putting the defense type in first. Now, three, two, one, go. And. Oh, okay. That's a nice two pointer, not gonna lie. I don't hate the combo. 
a lot of other people have been hating these combos, but uh, maybe they're not so bad. I should have tilt launched that, but still, that was damn epic. Oh, and Gail Wyvern ends up getting one point, so it's 2-1. And okay, yeah, there we go. With this, definitely tilt launch, and it actually does really good. Wow, I'm surprised about that. All right, well, since I guess this lost first, let's put him in against Phoenix Rudder. Okay, Phoenix Rudder, he, he completely lost that one. I think I also lost the blade itself. Nope, just landing in my Dronzer Stadium. That's all the way in the corner of my room here. So, gotta take all that out and put everything back together. So yeah, Phoenix Rudder, um, that was a little bit of a disappointment, it lost two points off the bat. And again. Well, somebody has a bursting problem. Oh my, I totally forgot to take this out of the box. So we can see the uh, lame-ass hexagons here. So, yeah, I was not expecting Gail Wyron to win this. But we're not doing any redos in this battle. Or in this video, I mean. We're just moving on to uh, Sphinx Cowl versus Phoenix Rudder. We're going to put Phoenix Rudder in first. Just because he's a stamina type. Okay, I think I don't like the glide bit. Because, yeah. The new Phoenix seems like a downgrade, if anything. Huh. He's... He's gained two pointers on him every time. Let's uh, get through this testing here. Okay, all right. There we go. Phoenix was just like, okay. Enough talking shit. I I'll, I'll I'll start bringing my game. What are my cats doing over there? Three, two, one, go shoot! Oh, here we go! Oh, I I, I jinxed it. Well. That's uh, another Phoenix losing all of his battles. They do not compare to Phoenix Feather over here, or Phoenix Wing over here. Phoenix Feather was a disappointment too. Yeah. This guy reigns supreme. But again, I still gotta do some more testing because I think the problem is this bit. To prove that Phoenix uh, Wing or Sore Phoenix here is still on top, we're facing them off. 
Phoenix versus Phoenix. All right, rudder in first. And this is gonna be a lot. Quick, easy three-pointer for Sore Phoenix, or Phoenix Wing. I always feel like I gotta say both names. Alright, I have a feeling this is probably gonna be the last battle here. Oh! Really try and get him in that one pot. Oh, I must be the master at jinxing things because Rudder takes a point. All right. Oh, and there's a the burst. There's a the burst. Yeah, just as I thought. That was definitely going to be overkill. Winner here. Oh, look at him. He's so sad and broken. I don't know. I have a feeling the blade will be good with other parts. Just... This bit might not be as good as we were hoping. And let's take a quick damage report because of it's what we do around here with painted bays. Not too much damage. And not really any on the top, so still looking really good. That will most likely change really fast. But I am going to end this video here. So like comment and subscribe see you in the next one thank you for watching and peace out